So when I took on the role of curating this exhibition, it was relatively easy because the Wallace Arts Trust had a huge collection of Wollaston's work, so you didn't have to go all over the place to try and access it. So what I did when curating for the Hastings City Art Gallery was to select the works I liked and I had a certain criteria which were totally personal criteria and I didn't try and reveal stuff about um, Toss Wollaston. He's very well documented in the accompanying catalogue and there's plenty of stuff on YouTube so if you want to really find it out how he thought and how he went about things, I refer people to that. So what I did was I looked at the works and I thought, oh, there's some interesting motifs in the work. Um, there's some interesting relationships in the works and... Oh, the last one now. Uh, yeah, I did it on the basis of... Well, I'll talk about the motif first. I noticed a lot of his works, he had this very... Um, big, severe-looking noses of like the shape of an upside-down seven, and it ran through a lot of the figure works. Um, so I thought, that's a really good starting point. And the, they were either in profile or three-quarter space. So that was the one thing. The other thing, when I looked at the works, I was aware that I actually knew some of the people that he had painted. So I put together a little collection of that association, and that was with um, Lorraine North and Kerry Aberhart, who were his dealers in Auckland. And I think we should go and look at the introduction now, and I can see what I was talking about. <laughs> so we'll just go over here and look at the introduction as we come in. Yes, here it is here. Um, all right. Oh, location, that's right. Because he was a landscape painter, um, his relationship with the land is obviously a very a strong component of his works. And the works that I chose were um, some, one of Auckland, because that's where I had spent a lot of time. And I guess as a kind of concession to the fact that he was very renowned as a landscape painter, put a number of landscape paintings in here, which I don't have any much association with except um, both Toss Wollaston and I are from the South or spend a lot of time in the South Island. Um, this little, this collection of figure works illustrates the um, nose and profile, particularly in this one here with the figure looking down. Uh, this one is of Rodney Kennedy, um, the nose there, and this is a great example here, and I'm sorry I forgot the name of this person. So that is, um, that's that motif. Um, across the other side of the gallery, we have a number of works where, which relate to Kerry Aberhart and Ray North. So here's a picture of self-portrait, Tosmoliston with Kerry Aberhart, who was his Auckland dealer. Here's a nice juxtaposition of a Mycenaean. <laughs> um, Head with um, Kerry and Lorraine's son, Zahn. And over here on the other side, there's a nice uh, picture of Lorraine North. And if you look at, if you read the accompanying catalogue, there's quite a lot of discussion. Um, apparently, Lorraine's father <laughs> was very perturbed when he saw the size of the nose that he'd done on her. And I, knew, I know Lorraine North, and you know, her nose is not like that, it's not quite as big. Um, we could look a wee bit about location now, just down the other end of the gallery. This one here is of Rangatoto, and I was reading the company catalogue by Oliver Stead, and he said that it was suggested to Toss that if he wanted to um, have a marketplace in Auckland, he should do some Auckland related works. So, this is one of them. This is a view of Ramatoto and it's from um, Mount Eden or Mangafau. This one here is of Littleton Harbour, and I put this one in because I thought it was a very interesting idea the way that he 
has placed this tree form right up on the picture frame, uh, picture plane. Um, quite unusual. I haven't seen that in his work before. And then I've just complemented these two pictures with another series of uh, landscapes where I think he's really successfully, his, color, his tonality, his colour range is really fantastic and he's an excellent colourist. Um,